years ago now, a very distinguished, handsome woman walked into Mulan Tea House, came straight to my counter. She said, are you going to play? I said, play what? She said, this year, we want to have a spotlight show on vagina monologue and telling story about the comfort women. Oh yeah, I know that story. The blood just went straight to my head. I remember when I was 10 years old, my brother put me on the stage to do a show. When I got on the stage, I saw all the people, I froze. I forgot every word of it. Fortunately, there was people in the back of the stage feeding the line. So I asked, would they be line feeders? And she said, no. And then she left. A few days later, I got the script. What a powerful writing. I just thought somebody have to do it. Then I thought it would be better to have more than one voice, not just me. So I was thinking who in Halifax, over 70, can speak English? Oh yeah, Mary. She's a bit older than me, but we can do it. So I phoned Mary. I said, Mary, you know what? We should do vagina monologue. She said, vagina monologue? I've never done theater before. But then I said, Mary, we have to tell the world about comfort women. Somebody have to do it. You're it. So I showed her the script. She said, all right. But uh, we only have three rehearsals. Almost daily, Mary and myself were secretly practicing the tea house. Mary couldn't stop crying. She would cry reading or not reading. She would cry all the time. Then the more she cried, I just get more angry. I would remember the lines such as, they do it when we were bleeding. They do it when we were so young before we were bleeding. 50 soldiers a day, sometimes a shipload of them. Japanese government, say sorry, say sorry, say sorry to me, say to me, say sorry, say sorry. I would be reading like this every morning when I wake up. My husband, my poor husband, would just say, when it's going to end. But he was very supportive. Toward the end, if I forget the line, he would pump the line for me. So we really worked very, very hard. Funny enough, when we went to this show, none of us forget any lines. At the end, the whole theater was crying. We were so happy it's been videotaped, and we will have a chance to watch other people's show. Everybody come to my place and we'll make a lot of food and tea. We'll have a party. But Mary, Mary doesn't know how to cook small amount. She always cook huge amount. So we're sitting comfortably and then the music came, but it's kind of strange music. And then the priest came out. Oh my God, the tape got swapped. We got Catholic priest ordination, and the church got our vagina monologue. <laughs> we were totally disappointed. Before we realized, we started all laughing because we thought, oh, well, maybe somebody in the congregation will enjoy our show. 